Hey there, fellow Factorians. Owners here with another episode of Bob's and Angel C Block. And uh, ooh, let's uh, let's slow this down. Let's slow this down. All right, we are here, and as you can see, we have a serious problem with green science, and uh, that is just because of a serious problem with uh, with copper. No, I mean, that's fine. Um, there was an issue when I uh, I didn't actually leave this run for very long, so it hasn't kind of stabilized. But I realized what the problem was. Uh, when I grabbed a bunch of copper from this box, we've got it set up so that there's always 2,000 in there and of course then it filled back up to 2,000 so there was actually a uh, no copper going along the belt which is uh, just a, more of a problem with our lack of copper production. Uh, now, uh, one, thing, one thing to note uh, and as you can see it is true, uh, Power made the comment that uh, we have connected up uh, our power networks somewhere uh, incorrectly and that is definitely happening uh, if we can see where it looks like it's right here doesn't it um, looks like it's right here how are we gonna do I think we want to keep we want to keep this separate like that don't we separate like that uh, and now that is yeah we've still got enough power to support all this so we're also it's a bit dangerous it's, oh, it's real dangerous hmm I don't know if I want to do this because we are getting power now from uh, uh, from all this. Oh man, I'm 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 in two minds. All right, first things first. Let's uh, let's do that so we get some extra uh, storage of solid fuel on on here. Um, do we want do we want the oil refining to be part of the power network? Uh, do we even care anymore? Do we even care anymore now that we have all this going? I don't know that we do. I don't know what we do. Um, one thing I'm also wondering is, do we want to have, do we want to have some, well, do we want to actually have some uh, solid fuel going up to here? Uh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Let's, uh, let's temporarily do that. Hopefully we don't kill our power by doing it. And uh, yeah, you can have, you can have some solid fuel. You can have some solid fuel, all right. You're feeling good now, aren't you? Feeling good now. Um, and yeah, so we're basically only using fuel oil uh, for this, which is a little bit, a little bit of a problem. But I don't think we can make pumps just yet, can we? Because uh, we're missing engine units. And to make an engine unit, uh, what does that require in this wonderful thing? Uh, just, just things. Um, let's say we just want to make uh, two pipe four pipes one two three four and two of these uh, and we can make uh, we can make a couple of engines uh, I didn't see how many engines are required in a pump though yeah it's just one okay so there's two pumps um, and we can then balance out the uh, fuel oil with uh, with two pumps all right let's make let's make two pumps I'm gonna pop them in here and we're going to uh, We will uh, we'll figure out figure out what we're going to do here. All right, so there and there. Uh, now, what I want to do is get some red wire, and we're actually going to need more red wire, which I don't think we can make super easily. Uh, where are you, red wire? Go oh, everywhere, 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 everywhere. Uh, it's it's the first one. It's the first one. All right, uh, we're actually out of copper. We have everything else we need. Um, let's go grab a little bit of copper. And again, this is. Got to remember, every time we grab one out of here, we're actually stopping the copper going down there. So I've got to figure out a better way to do that. Figure out a better way to do that. Uh, let's just make a stack of that. All right, so what I want to do is... Okay, this is actually a bit trickier now that I think about it. Um, we actually need to make... We need to make a couple of arithmetic combiners. All right, let's uh, let's figure this one out. Let's figure this one out. So what I want, to, my aim here is I want to add the totals of these together, and if there's if there's more naphtha than fuel oil, then I want to use the naphtha, um, but at a ratio of two to one. At a ratio of two to one, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, basically two to one. So if there is twice as much fuel oil as naphtha, no, is that the wrong way? Twice as much naphtha as fuel oil. Okay, let's see what we can do. All right, 
Let's put in a couple of these. We are going to need some power poles. Nope. Can I go one further? I can. Oh, gosh. Just click. Just click. All right. Um, so if we input, if we input any, each, and we want to output, uh, let's say, um, uh, let's just say uh, fuel, F. We'll do F. We'll do F. All right. So if we want to multiply this by uh, one, oh, I just saw we, we're flashing on, uh, we're flashing on alerts. Charcoal low, okay. Um, don't, uh, don't, uh, we're not focused on that. All right. So this is going to output uh, F, the amount of F equal to what's in here. Uh, once we actually hook this up, so let's do that. All right, and I want this one to output. Uh, this one to output the amount of F um, but equal to let's say multiplied by negative uh, 2 alright so now if we combine the sums of these uh, we have 53k so this is 54k minus twice that alright alright so that's good that means we got uh, way more way more naphtha than we have uh, the other things okay so now we need to uh you should reach there why can't you reach there go from there to there you okay it looks like the uh looks like the control cables don't get the full reach of the power lines i'm not sure what's going on there all right anyway so let's bring this all the way back here can you get over there no of course not there we go. Uh, and now we can hook it up to these two. All right. So this one is providing uh, fuel oil. So if we have more fuel oil, uh, this should be negative. So if F is less than zero, you go. And if F is greater than or equal to zero, because we want to have make sure zero has a thing, then you go. All right. So that way we'll use we'll use our naphtha over our fuel oil while we have uh, twice as much naphtha, and then it'll kind of just balance up. Now the other thing I want to do though is I want to use hydrogen if we can use hydrogen, and obviously we can't do it here. Um, I could put these on the inside, but what if? Okay, what if? Ooh, ooh, I'm just having I've got a crazy idea. I've got a crazy idea. We need two more. We need two more engines. Two more engines. Uh, engines. All right. We need uh, two more of these. So uh, two iron gear wheels, four pipe. One, two, three, four, and one, two. All right. So let's get you going. We're going to put them here. We're going to put them here. Um, how am I going to do this? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. We'll uh, we'll we'll start hooking this up. Um, so I want to read. I want to read the contents of this one, and we'll read belt contents and hold those contents. All right, so you can keep going. Um, so now we know how much, how much uh, solid fuel we have there. So we should get solid fuel. Yeah, we do. That's good. All right. So now we have solid fuel here, and if I go you there, we'll get uh, two more of these. There might be a better way to do this. It's probably with combinators, but I think, I think this is this this works. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Um, and then we get our red signal coming into the those two. And now I want to say if uh, if solid fuel, if solid fuel, solid fuel, if solid fuel is uh, less than eight, then you're operational. And we'll copy that one here. So now we're saying if there if if this isn't full, then start doing this. But what this what I'm hoping this will mean what I'm hoping this will mean is um, these will stop. It'll allow these guys to work, and they'll uh, they'll fill this out if they can. Uh, but as soon as they can't keep up, we should get we should get these guys pumping. So by preference, we're burning hydrogen, and we're turning hydrogen into solid fuel. But as soon as we run low on hydrogen, because remember currently we're just flaring it off, so we want to kind of use it. And here, here we go. So now we're using it, and if this can't keep up, 
if we start running low because of the hydrogen dropping low then we should start pumping here um, and then you'll see immediately this one will start pumping and we'll start making from naphtha and fingers crossed fingers crossed this little circuit network will ensure that we are building up a supply of um, of fuel oil and naphtha using all our hydrogen but also maintaining power all right Whew, man that was um that was it took a little bit of thinking i think we got there you never know with these things sometimes they have unintended consequences and uh yeah we'll uh, we'll see what happens we'll see what happens i'm holding my judgment reserving judgment so uh oh yeah yeah let's uh let's address this little uh little problem here now um, look at that we actually have a full we've got two full two full things of charcoal so I'm, I'm happy to take a, uh, a full one uh, and where is our charcoal over here look at that we still had we still had some charcoal left I'm going to put uh, did we make another one of these yeah we got some over there now alright let's put uh, so I got half in there we'll put half in there and we'll put the rest in this box up here which is actually uh, empty. All right. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. Um, I was just trying to think of a way we could circuit all these together as one warning, but I don't think we can. We'd, we'd need separate speakers for each one. Um, but I think as long as this one's going, uh, well, this one's doing two. That one's doing two. Yeah, yeah. If, if this one stops, we'll uh, we'll get a warning. All right. So. Next thing's next. So in our quest log, I've put a couple of things in here. Um, the first one is fishies. So uh, we definitely want to get fish going because from fish we can go to modules, which is great. Um, so I want to start that early, start getting as many crystals as we can because I think it's going to be a very slow process. Fish themselves are very slow. Um, and then this one here, we want to do some solar as well. All right, let's minimize that. Um, solar will alleviate a lot of our issues here. It'll just stay as this as night time and we'll be able to use that solar fuel maybe for something else. But let's start with fish. Let's start with fish. Um, I don't actually know what we need for fish. It's probably going to be uh, probably going to be stuff that we don't have. So let's make a little area here and uh, let's investigate investigate our fish fish area. Bioprocessing. Fish tank. We can make one. All right, let's just make one. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, we're probably going to want more than one, but uh, I think we're going to need nutrient pulp. So maybe maybe this isn't the best place to build it. Maybe it's not the best place to build it. If we're getting nutrient, let's let's build it near the nutrient pulp. We're not turning that into fuel anymore because we're turning blue algae into fuel. So um, we might as well we might as well use it. Our production there is really slowed down. That's um yeah it's it's mildly concerning mildly concerning all right well let's uh yeah let's let's build this down for fish let's make it the the nice one there we go all right we now have a fish tank beautiful we have a fish tank what does a fish tank need uh we need to get some fish we need to get catch some fish uh what have we got here we got a uh, we got a fish we got a lavac fish. Uh, that seems to be. Ooh, we've got a blurp and glurp and door flurp. Uh, I don't. I don't want to do jellyfish. Let's get regular fish. Regular old factorian fish, because uh, they look the nicest in my opinion. All right. So we want to do factorian fish petting, um, or we can do factorian fish breeding. Uh, this is uses for and produces two factorian fish. So we need to keep producing fish for this one but this one yeah this one keeps producing fish right so this is the one we want um and there's our artificial polluted artificial fish water which i think is what we need uh but let's have a look we need nutrient pulp we have but we don't have artificial fish water so how do we make artificial fish water uh fish water artificial fish water is water and saline water okay uh, what's our best way of making saline water these days? Uh, water purification, that's pretty slow. Uh, is this saline water? It is. Okay, well, that really solves that problem, doesn't it? Um, 
that's this is the perfect spot for it uh, this is made in a advanced chemical plant and only an advanced chemical plant interesting uh, there is a chemical plant there is an advanced chemical plant all right so we can make one of those uh, what does this produce a hundred every 15 seconds and this uses a hundred every 60 seconds so we could support four fish tanks from one of those all right that's pretty good uh, let's do that. Let's spin this around. Uh, let's pop in an advanced chemical plant. Oh man, it's big. It's big. Uh, let's pop it here. And you're making artificial fish water. Uh, must be this one. There it is. Okay, yeah, you're making... That just didn't quite line up, did it? Uh, there we go. Artificial fish water. Uh, let's connect you up. And let's add a little bit more here. And then, all right, so this guy, not there, not there. Um, what if, what if we did something a little bit funky and uh, just went up to here. There we go. And then you went like that. And we don't have any more of those. We'd use these ones. And there, all right. I uh, just saw bio bioplastics finish as well. We'll have to uh, we'll have to sort that out. Uh, for some reason, I've got an offshore pump, uh, and I don't like I don't like putting them right there. So I just want to have want to have this here with a pipe in here, so we can tap that off if we need it. If we need to tap it off, we can. All right, let's uh, power this up then. There's artificial fish water. Now we just need to get. Um, I can rotate that when it's full. How interesting. All right, uh, but we don't we don't need to because all we can all we do is do that. And, uh, and we're in. All right, and then we just uh, put in some fish. Put in some fish, and uh, yeah, so this takes 60 seconds. So we can make uh, we can make four of them. Um, and why don't we? Why don't we? Uh, all right. So if we make four of these, and they're outputting um, they're outputting some polluted fish water. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, they're also outputting fish, and we need to uh, we need to have some boxes. Need to have a box here. Uh, I think I think that one's the center. All right, all right. Uh, so you are outputting a fish, and you're inputting a fish. All right. So we'll um, we'll build up on fish. We'll build up on fish. That's okay. Uh, that is unfortunate. I think we're actually going to have to do that for my uh, for my grand my grand plan. Uh, yeah, you can't actually reach all the way across, which is most interesting. All right, uh, we need to take this. We need to take this fish action uh, a little bit further down. All right, so we've got another another fish action here, and uh, all right, let's go. Why? Why do you always go to that crazy sand stuff? I don't like. I don't like the look. I don't like the look. There we go. All right. Uh, so let's let's increase the size of this again. There we go. All right, and then we have another one here and another one there. Don't give me that. There we go. Uh, another one. Too low. Too low. All right. There we go. Like that. Uh, so you would go uh, to where? To, no, no, that's not going to work. It's not going to work. All right. Uh, you need to go. We need to actually have this uh, even further out. Again, with the sand. Really wants me to use sand. Uh, all right. So there and there, there and there, there and there. And let's do some of this. Bit of old fashioned. Bit of old fashioned. Uh, Oh, we don't need those ones. A uh, bit of old-fashioned piping. Get you going there. Get you going there. Let's copy you down here like this. Grab some more fish. Uh, you can have two fish. That's all you need. All right. Uh, and then what we want to do here is have, again, uh, drop off there, pick up there. And uh, I wonder if we could just feed fish to each other. No, that's... We're gonna we're gonna end up with too much fish if we do that. Uh, you're gonna pick up from there and drop off there. 
Now I could change one of these, if we start building up too much fish, we can then actually change this over to, um, uh, change it over to uh, the one which uses fish, fish petting, fish petting. It's weird, it's weird, yep. Alright, so you're in there, and you're in there. Alright, let's get you picking up from uh, there, let's get you picking up from there. You need to pick up from there and drop off there. You need to pick up from there, drop off there. You need to pick up from there and drop off there. All right. Uh, so that's good. These ones are set up correctly. Yes, they are. All right. Uh, now we need to power this up there and there. And then we just need to hook up this output of artificial fish water. And then, uh, then we can see... Then we can look at what we do with this to make it into useful stuff. All right. Uh, first of all, let's get a tank. We do have a tank. Ooh, it's a big tank. Uh, that's a lot of artificial fish water. All right. Uh, you're going. You've got one extra fish that you don't need. Uh, you have two extra fish. Um, so you can do that. And, uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, I could just farm some more fish if I find a good Factorian fish floating around. Uh, oh, they're actually pr pretty hard to find. Oh, there's one over there. I'm sure that's the one we farmed last time, but uh, that's all right. Maybe just just respawned, just respawned, just like we can. All right, so let's uh, let's get these ones going, and uh, I don't know, just drop those extra ones in there. So now they're all operating. We've got a small amount of artificial fish water. So each of these is producing 100 every 60 seconds. Uh, we're producing 100 every 15 seconds. All right. Let's have a look at, at what that is doing. Uh, so this turns into alien spores with alien bioprocessing. Uh, what do we get to get to that? Uh, that's a long way away. That is a long way away. Uh, what else can we do with it? Uh, this is the one we want, crystal shard processing, which is behind blue science. Okay, that's, that's all right. Uh, we'll get there, we'll get there. We will, uh, we will get there. Uh, so this one, Alien spores to helps us feed our aliens, um, if I remember correctly. Alien goo, cedar dish. Uh, what do we need the cedar dish for? Red alien artifacts, green seed. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crystal seeds and polluted fish water make raw crystal splinters. There we go. Um, that's just a better way of, of making it uh, rather than... Uh, just polluted fish water to 40%. Uh, this one goes... Uh, nope, that wasn't right. I did the wrong one. Ah, well, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, but we've, we've got polluted fish water, and as you can see, it's very, very slow. It is very, very slow. What's going on here? Uh, you're not outputting fish? Have I... Um, those... Yeah, yeah, that's, um, that's a problem. All right. We actually didn't make these close enough. There we go. Luckily, luckily we've got those inserters. We don't have to pull the whole thing out. But oh, that is a um, yeah, that is unfortunate. All right, these ones, other ones are running. Okay, there's our polluted fish water. We'll let that run. We'll get 150k, 150k. Yeah, we'll we'll build up 150k polluted fish water, and uh, and we'll mark that one as a tick. So steal the sun, uh, steal the sun. That is uh, that is build some solar power. Oh man, that's um. That seems a long way off, doesn't it? Although we've got a lot of iron. Got a lot of iron. We don't have a lot of copper. We don't have a lot of copper. And we haven't even been making science, and yet we're still uh, we're still using this as this backs up. So whew, let's uh, let's have a look at some science options. Um, you know, I don't mind. I don't mind getting some of these uh, red onlys. Bronze smelting. We do actually need. Uh, we do need that because we'll need. Uh, We'll need it for uh, a lot of a lot of other things, as you can see. It feeds into a lot of things. Um, cement feeds into advanced electronics, so we will need that as well. Uh, garden processing two. Desert farming, environment. Don't know that we need it. Alien farming. Uh, what does this open? Um, I think we just get a little bit more stuff. We can make a garden with some. 
Mm, that seems expensive. Uh, alienated fertilizer. Uh, let's let's not worry about farming just yet. All right. Uh, washing two, we can start getting some geodes. Uh, we do need crystal dust later on again, so it's not a high priority. Uh, pump jacks don't even work for us. Um, plant processing. Uh, raw vegetable oil. Uh, we did want to. We wanted to look at the plastics from fermentation. Okay, that's that's where we're going to go. Uh, I'm going to get. I'm going to get advanced or refining one because uh, that is a prerequisite for pretty much everything uh, later on. Coal processing two is not a prerequisite for stuff. Uh, lubricant we will need because that goes into yellow science. Um, heat piping doesn't. Doesn't need that for it. Don't we? Don't need that. Doesn't. I'm gonna say doesn't. All right. Uh, let's get cement as well. All right. Because uh, we will. Uh, we will need this for more advanced stuff. Again, much much later. Um, and then let's just have a look at some blue. Uh, some blue science prerequisites that we don't have, and uh, we might as well just queue up a few of those. All right. And that'll uh, that'll chew up all of our copper. All of our copper. Uh, but. Off camera, off camera, and I did say we were doing it, so can't claim we caught by surprise. Um, but we were looking at bioplastics bio um, as a way of uh, of creating lots of stuff. Uh, what am I standing on? Standing on. Okay. So, what can we do? What can we do? We can uh, we can make fer fermentation. So fruits and water, corn and water. We have corn. Um, we can make some high fructose corn syrup, uh, which makes a fermentation base. It's not as good as fruits, uh, but I have no idea how to get fruits. Let's have a look if that is uh, listed in here. So fruits come from Zelo squash, Kilnoa, and mush, mush, mush potato. All right. Uh, None of which we have actually unlocked the level of research we need to extract them. So let's not worry about fruits. Let's stick with the corn. Um, all right, so corn. Corn into uh, fermentation base. So corn and water in a liquefier or a chemical plant. Okay, chemical plant, definitely. Um, that makes us a fermentation base. Fermentation base goes into compost and acetic and ethanol all right and then acetic acid is the one we needed wasn't it uh yeah yeah so acetic acid and propionic makes liquid plastic at bioplastics too i thought we had bioplastics one uh what are we making this acetone gas uh okay so acetone and cellulose acetate um acetone Tone gas, cellulose acetate uh, comes from cellulose acetate mixture in water, and this comes from acetic acid and acetic and blah, 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 this one. Uh, acetic acid ooh, that requires catalyzer, and uh, this guy. Is there an acetic acid? Yeah, yeah, okay. Just fermentation base into acetic acid. Man, this is complex, complex. So we get acetic acid, we get acetic anhydride from methanol and carbon monoxide. Uh, we don't actually have methanol production. All right, let's, uh, let's step this one back. Yeah, so this is the, this is the one we're aiming for because um, this, this turns into uh, cellulose acetate which turns into liquid plastic with acetone. Uh, acetone comes from nutrient pulp. Nutrient pulp into those things, or butane gas. That sounds pretty fancy. Um, all right, so we can turn our nutrient pulp into some acetone uh, and synthesis gas and some more fuel oil. Uh, or we can turn it into a lot of acetone, some ethanol, which I'm pretty sure is used for a lot of other things as well. Uh, liquid resin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, and we can void it. Yeah, yeah, very helpful. Very helpful. Thank you, FNI. 
Uh, and butane gas. I'm not sure what butane gas is used for. Um, not a whole lot. Benzene, uh, which is very long way away from us getting uses of. So it'd be a bit of flaring, I think. We'd, we'd store it and flare it. Um, but so that is done in a gas refinery of all places. Uh, all right, let's let's just let's just start down this path for cellulose acetate. Uh, so we need cellulose fiber, which we can make from our algae. Uh, acetic acid we can make from the fermentation base, which we make from corn and water. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get some corn and water going. Uh, you're backed up on corn. All right. Uh, that was done in a chemical plant. In a chemical plant. All right. Let's make five chemical plants, but not all at once. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, there we go. Why have I got all this crud? Uh, look at a bunch of compost as well. Excellent. Look at that compost we have. Um, we might as well... You know what? We don't need more compost. Let's just keep the brown algae there just in case. Uh, so, primer diet alliance into, uh, into fermentation base from corn. Corn and water. And this is where we say, well, aren't we, aren't we glad that we... Uh, aren't we glad that we did this? You know what? Uh, we need we need some pipe, and I'm not using copper anymore because we are very low on copper. So we're back to iron. We're back to iron pipe, guys. It's old school. Uh, although iron isn't exactly doing fantastic either. Uh, it's not exactly doing fantastic. Uh, let's let's make a bunch of this. Let's just make a bunch of it, please. Thank you. All right. Uh, and then we'll uh, we'll put that bunch in here. All right, so there's our water, and there's our corn. So now we have fermentation base. Now we have fermentation base, and we are going to mix that with compost. No, no, we get compost when we mix it in a uh, another chemical plant. All right, uh, what are we using compost for? Uh, let's let's have a look. Compost. What do we use it for? We make soil. Seedling nests, more soil, uh, and soil turns into trees and that kind of stuff. All right. Well, I guess for now we'll just box it. Uh, ooh, we're out of boxes. We're out of boxes. Crazy. Uh, we'll pop you there, and ooh, we're out of uh, we're out of those as well. All right. Let's make a bunch of them. Uh, let's make a bunch of them. Very good. All right, uh, you'll go in there. So this will be our compost, compost like that. That wasn't right, was it? Pick up from there, drop off there. All right, there we go. Uh, you are making uh, fermentation base into acetic acid. There we go. Uh, let's get you like that. All right, so now we have acetic acid. Uh, we'll get a little tank. We'll get a little tank. Let's not go crazy with tanks. Um, storage tank, petrochem. Well, we'll just go a few regular storage tanks. All right, we'll, we'll grab a couple. Um, so there is our acetic acid. I'm gonna pop you there. All right, phase one complete. Phase one complete. Uh, the acetic acid gets turned into this with uh, these other things. So acetic and hydride. Let me just check the time. We're at 33 minutes. All right. Um, to make this, we need acetic acid, methanol, and carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide's pretty easy to get. Uh, carbon... I thought it was easy to get, but maybe maybe it's not. Uh, we don't have carbon. Hydrogen and carbon dioxide. Yeah, we can do that, I guess. Uh, and then uh, methanol gas, though. Our, uh, our trick to get methanol gas is going to be what? Cellulose fiber into methanol gas. Um, very, very slow. Uh, very, very slow. That's okay. We've got, we've got time. We've got time on our hands. Uh, it, is, it is very slow, isn't it? Uh, what else can we... I think that's it without... Methane. Uh, we can't really. We don't have methane. Natural gas, liquids. Uh, we could go down the 
gas situation, can't we? Because we do have natural gas liquids coming from the raw gas. Uh, yeah, raw gas gives acid gas and natural gas. Acid gas can be turned into... Uh, we don't want to use that. Um, oh yeah, puffers. <laughs> the puffers. Uh, yes. All right. Lots of things to do. Lots of things to do. Uh, advanced gold smelting is finished. Uh, we had a lot of things queued up. Let's queue up some more things that give us blue science. Uh, if we can. There's a couple things. Silicon. Oh, yeah. Yep. And what do we got over here? Hydro refining. Man, that seems like a long way away, doesn't it? Uh, but there's a lot of uh, a lot of research, a lot of green science. Uh, we'll uh, we'll leave that one running. Uh, I should I should actually go through these because power will get annoyed if we don't. We've got silicon smelting, which gives us access to uh, silicon pieces we'll need for circuits. Uh, chemical processing too, another one of these things that actually does nothing in C block. I don't know what it actually unlocked normally. Uh, silicon processing, which gives us silicon wafers, which we'll use in red circuits. Hydro refining, which makes chunks out of all the various ores, which gives us a better ratio. Um, Better ratio of ores to outputs, uh, but at a cost of some byproducts and uh, extra. I think we need sulfuric acid and stuff uh, in there. Uh, we're doing water treatment too, uh, which I don't, I don't know what they're even doing. Fluoric wastewater. Okay. Uh, so these nitric, fluoric, and chloric wastewaters are byproducts from the hydro refining, so it all ties in. Uh, nitrogen processing, um, which gives us some of these other uh, byproducts. Lots and lots of things, but also gives us an air filter too, which is a little bit faster. Uh, and then resin. And uh, yeah, liquid resin from urea and formaldehyde, which are probably coming from here. Urea and uh, formaldehyde? I don't know. Somewhere in there. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, liquid resin into resin. So uh, after that, we'll go into advanced electronics, which is red circuits. But again, long ways away, long ways away. Um, and this is all about getting us into plastic and we're going to continue this we're going to continue this next episode so i'm going to add a uh add a new quest for um white gold make plastic from plants wonderful all right we're going to put that to the top uh i'm going to end it there and all that is left is for me to actually remember to minimize the to-do list and say a massive thank you to my patrons uh look you guys are doing great work uh supporting the channel love it uh not, not much else to say other than see you tomorrow